As of Close 4.2 release, you can now edit sewing in the 3D window. Use the Edit Sewing tool to view, select, and edit sewing arrangements. Use Segment Sewing to sew two segments together. Simply left-click on two segments and match notches to create sewing arrangement. If the sewing arrangement is properly sewed, the sewing lines that appear will be straight, connecting the two sides. Always check that your notches are aligned on segments. Here I demonstrated crossing the notches, which you can see how the sewing lines appear. To fix this, I can revert back to the Edit Sewing tool and right-click on the sewing arrangement and select Reverse Sewing. Click and hold the segment sewing icon to select M to end segment sewing. Use this function in order to sew multiple segments to each other. As I hover my cursor over each side seam, you can see that each side is split into two separate segments. Start by selecting the segments of one of the sides and hit the Enter key to complete the first half. Then select the segments on the other side and press Enter to complete sewing arrangement. I'm going to do the same for the other side. Seems like I forgot to sew the undersleeve seam, so I'll switch back to the default segment tool and sew them together. Use the freeze sewing tool to create sewing lines bypassing points and establishing the start and end freely. Click the beginning point of the sewing line, drag the mouse in the desired direction, then double click to end the first sewing line. Do the same for your second sewing line. Again, you should be mindful of your sewing notches. If I begin sewing on the top of the armhole and end at the bottom, I'll need to do the same on the sleeve. The direction of the notches doesn't matter as long as the sides are consistent. For this sleeve, I'm going to demonstrate what we call one to multiple sewing where I sew the entire sleeve cap to both sides of the armholes. Once I do that, I hold shift and start and end my sewing relationships on both sides. Again, I'll follow the same sewing path, going from the front of the armhole and end it in the back. Once I let go of the shift key, my sewing arrangement is completed. This is a faster way to sew that also works with the Segment Sewing tool. Click and hold the icon to select M to N Free Sewing option. M and N represent variables, which mean multiple to multiple sewing, as in multiple segments. This way I can sew the collar pieces onto the neckline in one sewing arrangement. I'm going to start sewing my neckline, then hit Enter to end my first side. Then I'll start and end the collar and once more pressing the Enter key to complete sewing. While sewing the collar, I seem to run into an issue where I'm unable to end my selection at the end of the pattern. If you happen to find yourself in a similar situation, don't worry as this is an easy fix. For now I'm just going to end the selection as close to the end as I can. It seems like the same issue occurs on this other one. Now I'm going to switch back to my Edit Sewing tool where I can adjust my sewing arrangement by selecting the point and moving it to the edge. Finally, I can turn on Simulation to apply sewing. 